Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright the third here with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I hope you're having a great week. We got tied up yesterday and weren't able to release our podcast episode, so I've got a bunch of stuff coming your way. Later this week, I interview um, the owner of um, onlinejobs.ph, which is probably the largest outsourcer of virtual assistants in the Philippines. John Jonas uh, is my guest. I'm going to give you some great tips on how you can find yourself some uh, outsourced VAs if you want for literally five, 600 bucks a month for a full-time monthly employee um, with a degree and, and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, a lot of stuff coming up. But today, today I want to talk to you about, uh, you know, and I've mentioned this maybe a couple of times in the past, but three rules that you've got to adopt in your life if you want to make major changes. And I got this right from, you know, I'll, I'll shamelessly plug here that I got it right from Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has some great, great, great content. Um, and I listened to a, a po- pretty powerful audio video that he did recently on these three rules. And, you know, I love his passion and enthusiasm and simplicity of thought. You know, I also love that he just punches you right in the face sometimes with truth. And so that's great. Um, obviously, uh, you know, I, I want to share these thoughts with you, but also give you a little bit of my thoughts as well. And the first rule that he talks about And these are three rules, again, that'll change your life if you'll adopt them. The first one is live your life like you're the hero of your story. Live your life like you're the hero of your story. Write down what you want and and go get it. You know, that's the best advice I have heard in a long time, to be the hero of your own story. Live your life like you're the hero. Everybody's life is a is a dumpster fire. Come on, every, everybody has trouble. Everybody's got um, problems, but pretend that you're starting the movie of your life, and it does show you as this you know total loser, just messed up, problems, all kinds of things, and then decide not to be that anymore. Um, that's like most movies start, right? Do what you want, and um, and 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 document what you want your life to be like. You know, what do you want your kids to see if they're watching the movie of your life? What do you want your friends and family to see? Everybody loves a success story. Um, but you know what's even better? A massive failure that gets turned around because everybody likes a comeback even more than a success story. But but here's the deal. You've got to write it down. You've got to think in your mind, I am the hero of my story. I'm going to write this story. I'm going to craft this story. And, and the key is writing it down. Writing, writing it down really does make a difference. And this is why journaling can be so huge. Most people just spiral out of control. You know, it's, it's annoying when people just complain, though. You know what I'm talking about. If, if people are just complaining, but they don't do anything about it, do something about it. Um, and, and, and be the hero of your own story. So the second rule is to stop seeking comfort. Stop seeking comfort. See, most people think um, that, uh, you know, getting to the destination easily is the way to go, but nobody should want that. Um, You know, certainty is is boring. We crave uncertainty. We need to be stimulated and challenged. So just accept that and stop trying to get rid of all your challenges and problems. Instead, try to be bigger than your problems rather than not having problems. Um, You know, it's really sad to see um, people give up and, and stop you know, and, and and they're not willing to struggle and they want to have it the easy way because there's nothing great about the easy road. You know, crave the hard road, crave the challenges, make it a game, enjoy your life. Um, you can't have and really appreciate the good without the bad. You can't appreciate love without hurt, right? So stop being part of the world that seeks comfort. I really love how, you know, Joe talks about that. You know, seek the lessons and the difficulty because it's through those things that you'll grow. Um, Great example of that is like hitting the gym, right? I hate my leg workouts. Um, I hate doing legs or back. It's it's just like there's not enough oxygen in the gym, right? But I hate it. But you don't. But you don't have to like it to to want the benefits of it. I end up doing it anyway, and I love it because I know, even though I can't walk some days and I can't move. I know that I'm going to have a great day because I did something that was difficult and I accomplished something I didn't want to do and I acted in spite of my mood, right? So the minute that you're idle and you're not doing what you want, you're going to, you're going to feel like crap. I mean, come on. This is, uh, uh, Joe talks about, he has this great saying, he's like, hello, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, right? You know, people, people um, that aren't moving through life are the ones that get depressed. And, you know, and that's because our human reward system craves it in our DNA. 
Um, it, it craves this challenge and it craves this struggle. If you don't respect that, then you're not going to win. You're not going to be happy. You know, family, friendship, winning, learning, growing, struggling, hurting, emotions, challenges. It's called part of being human. Embrace it. Stop trying to avoid it. We spend so much time. Uh, there's a stat that says like 70% of the things you fear are, are not even going to ever happen. And so stop trying to avoid things that aren't even going to happen in your life and start embracing the struggle. And the third thing I want to, I want to kind of mention that I highlighted and wrote some notes on from, from this audio was 90% of success is just showing up. Now, I know you've probably heard that before, but you've got to learn to create discipline in your life. It's going to carry you when you don't feel like doing things, right? Because discipline helps you get things done. When, when you do things, uh, and you're consistent with your actions, you're going to have more success. And it only comes from action and from actually doing things. A big part of success is just doing things consistently, just showing up, just showing up. If you only act when you feel like it, then then you're not going to ever do things. You're going to be insecure, lazy, and depressed, and anxious. Everybody feels the same. Nobody wants to do the tough stuff. Nobody wants to show up and do the work. There are days that you have to push through and and you just have to do it. Um, You know, there's going to be more of the days you don't feel like doing it than the days you do feel like doing it. And that's okay. Understand and be okay with it and, and commit to acting in spite of your mood. You know, and most importantly, it's okay to just show up some days. You know, have a little patience for yourself because showing up is 90% of the success. Being consistently active is 90%. It's not always just about the wins. Sometimes it's about the consistency and the discipline. I truly believe that consistency and discipline will carry you further than just stacking up a few wins. You know, um, I think about it a lot of times because, you know, nobody wants to get up early and work out. Nobody wants to spend the quality time with relationships when they are tired or depressed or overworked. Nobody wants to act in spite of their mood, right? But guess what? Do it anyway. Learn to push past your 40% mark that most people stop at. Learn to crave the fire. Stop being tired and lazy and unmotivated. Start being a winner. Start being a grinder. Start being the hero of your story. Push against the resistance and learn to recognize and crave and push past the resistance. And have pride in your ability to work. Be proud that you showed up. Give yourself credit. Sometimes we just, we're so hard on ourselves for showing up for a workout and we don't do much or we didn't have a very productive day. Give yourself credit and recognize that a win is actually showing up. You know, showing up sometimes is a win. Now, I have a final thought I wanted to kind of add because I really believe that most people doubt themselves and their abilities. And you have to understand something. There's a difference between self-doubt self-esteem, and self-confidence. Learn to recognize each of these. You know, I kind of learned this lesson from several mentors, uh, you know, one of which is Ed Milet. You know, he talks about this distinction between self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-doubt. You can overcome self-doubt in your ability to do things by growing your confidence. And you can grow your confidence simply by taking action. Do more, be more, have more, risk more through your actions and showing up. And, and, you know, as Joe Rogan says, you know, be the hero. Stop looking for the easy stuff and just start showing up. And as you take action, your confidence will grow, which will grow your um, self-esteem. And also it will eliminate and overcome this self-doubt. And there's a lot of ways to increase your confidence. I mean, number one, increase your confidence by increasing your knowledge of things. You can learn new skills and that'll increase your um, your confidence. Another thing, number two, is you can believe in your ability to learn. Look, even if you're not great at things, just know that you'll always figure it out. You'll always come back. You'll always learn something, and that will increase your confidence. And third, increase your, your belief in your own self-worth, your intrinsic value, because all of us are born with greatness. Believe that. Your intrinsic value, your self-worth is not dependent on what other things do or happen outside you, period. You decide what you're worth. So make it a decision to accept Uh, You know, despite the odds, despite your history, despite your circumstances, you are worth it. You have value. You are unique because you are. And, you know, the number one problem people have is they they base their self-worth on outside factors. It's probably another topic to hit again in the future. But we're so caught up in appearance and social media and skills and resumes and track records and money and all this type of stuff 
that your self-worth is being decided by things outside yourself, and you've got to stop that. Um, you know, I'm sorry I got off on a little tangent there, but let's circle back here. The three rules that Joe Rogan talked about were one, be the hero of your story. Number two, stop seeking comfort. And number three, just show up. These simple rules in life are going to make a massive change for you if you'll implement them. And if you're ready to move forward and if you're, and if you get stuck inside your own head or you're looking for a change or opportunities and things, just remind yourself of these three rules. And bottom line, be the hero of your story and write the next chapter. That's the message I have for you today. I hope you enjoy that. I hope it inspires you a bit. Do me a favor if you haven't already. If you learn something from those podcasts or it's something that motivates you, please share it. Share it with somebody. Share it with at least one person and help us to grow the show. And um, and hit me up on The Daily Mastermind on Facebook or Instagram and give me some feedback. Let me know what you like and let me know what you need and let me know what you struggle with because I'd be more than happy to be, help you out and, and create some content to be able to help you with that. Get some interviews from some people that can help you. That's my message for today. My name is George Wright III and this has been The Daily Mastermind. Have a great day.